Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's Soul Channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please finally like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. There is a group of satanic agents. When I meet group of satanic agents, anyone that involved in evil, that is sold out for evil, you know, the way people are sold out for the Lord, so also there are people who are sold out for the Satan. People are sold out completely for God in this generation. Because revival is going on, no matter the distraction that the world is bringing, revival, a strong revival is going on. A very strong revival. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory our Father. Yes, child of God, hear me. You don't owe them anything. You don't owe them anything. There is this group who are always provoked over everything you say, over everything you do, over whatever you decide to choose, anything at all. You made mistake, they are provoked. You don't make mistake, they are provoked. You do good, they are provoked. You don't do good, they are provoked. You ask yourself, what do they want from me? That is the question. That is the question. Hallelujah. What do they want from you? They want your submission. They want you to be in their captivity. And unfortunately, you cannot submit to two masters. You have God already, who is the owner of your life. Yeah. There is a song that says, anywhere you see me talk about Jesus, because he's the owner of my life. The songwriter say, anywhere you see me talk about Jesus, he's the owner of my life. Yes, he's the owner. He's the owner. He's the owner of my life. The life that they are hating, which is your life, that life belongs to God. Hallelujah. You laughed, people are provoked. You pray for others, people are provoked. You help people, people are provoked. You ask yourself, what do they want? Even if you give them what they want, they can never be satisfied. That is why I said, just do what is right. Do what is right in this life. Because you cannot please everyone. There are people who feel that they have ownership over your life, how you should live your life, how you should not live your life. You don't owe them anything. Let them stay provoked. When you laugh, they laugh. Why are you laughing? Have you not had people tell me when I laugh in some messages, there are some who say, ah, this is, why are you laughing? You are laughing at people. When I get serious, I squeeze my face when I'm giving welfare or I'm praying. What for somebody that like, she's always squeezing her face. So there is nothing you will do that can balance what human needs from you. You do this other side, they don't it cannot balance what they want to see. You do the do the other side cannot balance. So do what pleases you and God. Hallelujah. Because that life belongs to God, it does not belong to them. Hallelujah. Let them stay mad if they want to stay mad. So, uh, I think uh, lately I, I, I heard of somebody who was talking about other ministers. And this is someone who just go and listen to messages. He's talking about the upcoming. Yeah? It's like, oh, I, I want to be, I want to be. What is I want to be? So there are people that are ministers, that are prophetic ministers that are coming up. They are calling them I want to be. Just imagine someone that is saying that is a Christian. And it's coming to my comment section that I, I want to be. They are more, they are very accurate as well. All this I want to be. And what is I want to be? The fact that maybe some of them, they started yesterday, doesn't make them I want to be in Christ. You that is hearing me right now, you have been serving the Lord maybe for so long. If today the Lord told you and said, daughter, son, go and preach the gospel. That doesn't mean that that is the day that you know Christ. That doesn't mean, mean that is the day that you find Christ. But that is the day that you enter another kind of journey 
that God said, go. You understand that he's backing you up. So when I look at how people are ridiculing some persons who come out to speak about God, maybe because they just started, maybe on social media, they are just, you look at them, maybe they don't have because people not qualify anointing with the number of subscribers and view that preachers has. No, anointing is not qualified by the subscriber that anyone has. Anointing is not qualified by the, uh, by the view that someone has. There is someone that I see in my statistics who, who they said is doing something else that God is against. When you go there, you see that they have millions of you. Yeah. But does it mean that they are anointed? Because they are spreading something that is not of the Lord and they are using the name of God. The person is using tarot. A Christian are trooping in, and there are a lot of thousands of views when you go there. So, what I'm saying is that the fact that someone just started something doesn't mean that, that that is the foundation of his or her own salvation. We have to be careful what is I want to be. Even those that those ones are calling that have already been whatever they have been, maybe they are now 50,000 subscribers, they are 100, they are 2 million, they are 5 million. I really don't care about those things. What I care about is the numbers that will go to heaven. Yes, how many we can take to the Lord. That is the thing that I care about mostly. Because you see this race that we are in. You cannot work for, work for God and be hungry. No matter how God will provide for you. Let it be one member that you have. God will provide. Let it be one million member. God will provide. God is a provider of those he is the provider of those that diligently seek him. He provides for them. He feeds his sheep. And his sheep knows him. Hallelujah. So, no matter what you do, people will always be provoked. Where did you come from? And why I got a little bit concerned when I saw that comment, when the person was like, all oh, these are wannabe. What the, the person was talking about was not even me. And that was wrong. And I know how it feels because I remember when I started this YouTube ministry as well. When I just came to a ministry, people are like, where did you come from? Uh, YouTube, where did you come from? Because they don't know me with any other prophetic ministry before. They didn't know me with them because I wasn't there. I didn't even know anything about it because I was, I'm not a social media person like that. You understand? So... They are like, ah, this is what I want to be. But now maybe because the person sees that, okay, Evangelist have grew. And it's growing by the grace of God. It's like, okay, maybe this one has been here for so long. So you are not calling all those ones that are also starting now, I want to be. There is no one that is the, I want to be. We are all a part of God's kingdom. We are all a part of God's tree. We are the, Jesus is the root and we are just the vine. And differently, we produce in our feet. Let's be very careful. You laugh and they say, why are you laughing? I said, I will laugh. It's my laugh because God gave me the mouth to laugh. Yes. Whatever they hate you for, it belongs to God. Whatever they are fighting you for, it belongs to God. You don't owe them any explanation. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.